This is Jeff from PlaySite, and in today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to create and manage groups for PlaySite Tennis Smart Court. On the Smart Court home screen, you see Singles, Doubles, and Groups option. The Groups option is a great way to expedite the login process and to manage multiple players on the court at the same time. The first thing you need to do for this mode is to define coaches. So as a club or a college, you're going to go to your admin page on PlaySite.com, and in the submenu, you're going to click Coaches, which is just next to Groups here and you're going to add all of the people that you want designated at your facility as a coach. And for a player or coach to show up on this list, they need to have their own account registered to your facility too. So make sure that all your coaches and players have your facility set up. If they logged in or joined on a smart court, this will have been done already for them automatically. So you can easily add or remove coaches here from your coaches list. And what this does is everybody who's designated as a coach can now create groups on their own playsite.com account. So I've now logged into a coach's account and you can see on the top menu there's a coach groups option. Here is where you can edit existing groups or add a new group. So we're going to take a look quickly at an existing group first. So on the left it shows all the coaches in this group and on the right it shows all the players. You can very easily leave this group, delete the group, add a player to the group or add a coach to the group by selecting any of those options. And now we're going to look at adding a new group and how that works. Again, this is all managed and run through playsite.com and your coach account. So you're going to click add new group. You can enter a picture if that's going to help you remember it, put in a description of the group name, and you're going to apply. The next thing you're going to do is there's the group we just created, the test group. You're going to click on it. And here's where you can add players, add coaches, and start to manage the group. You can always add players through the kiosk as well on court but it's a lot quicker and a lot easier to add everybody here and then when you're on court even if they're not all there it's very easily to select the players you want with the click of a button so now that we have our group created we're going to go back to the smart court kiosk interface and we're going to log in as a coach so once we've logged into the groups tab there's that group we created here the test group so you can see here, here are the players in this group. The coaches show below, the players show above. You can add players at any time by selecting add player on the right side of the screen. You can change the group if you want to go to a different group. And you can always select all and clear selection very easily as well. To add a player, they must already have a playset account. So that's something to note when you get on the court. Make sure the players have signed up online or on the court ahead of time. So once you select the players you want, then you have the option to go through all the different modes. Most of PlaySite's analytic and statistic modes only work for singles tennis, but there are some ways to work around this if you have multiple players on the court. You can see here you can change the players at any time by selecting that on the left upper side of this screen here, and you can still access all the modes. So with drills mode, you typically want to have one player on either side of the court, but if you're doing a two versus one drill, or a group drill on one side and a single player, you can select feeding or ball machine. And what that will do is the system will not track anything on that side of the court. It will just track all the statistics and analytics for the other side of the court. So you can go back if you want to change a player. Very easy to toggle through different drills, different modes. Typically the best mode for groups if you're going to have a lot of players on court moving around is video only. And while video only doesn't come with any data or analytics, each player and each coach on court still gets a customized video saved to their playset account after.